Hey, angels, you know, it's really hard to do what I do and stay, keep my head on straight because you're looking at a person that has been inflicted with so many spells. I've been inflicted with so many spells since I was a baby. Many of the spells are expiring. And some of them did the job that they were supposed to do, slowed me down tremendously. Some of the spells were meant to um, eventually kill me or cause me to kill myself. And I can say that because they're not monetizing my videos. I tried to, but they say I can't. I don't know why. I'm really tired of people, social media, certain social media apps showing favoritism to certain other people. And I'm just one of the nicest people you ever want to meet. I just want to get the message out. But they keep messing with my my channel. Now, I, I put up a video talking about um, my book and the progress and the update. And I, that was the second video I put up. Tell me why the third video I put up has way more video uh, vi views than that. That is because Spirit just told me they are um, slowing down people seeing that video. I remember when I first started doing shorts, and the first short I put up, I got 1,500, 1,400 views. And they immediately stopped that. I haven't gotten any nearly as that much. They're doing something to Miss Quiet Queen's channel. There's a reason why they're harassing me. Um... And it's getting old, but I'm going to keep on fighting because that's what I do. Um, also, Spirit told me that, yeah, I was right in thinking that somebody wants to take my idea. I, 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 there are three editors, three um, <sighs> book publishers that want my manuscript, right? Of course, they sign NDAs, and I have copies. But that doesn't mean that they won't be slick, because, you know, certain people like to take ideas of other people and claim it is theirs. Go on Jimmy Kimmel and get 10 stacks for your idea. They do it all the time, and they don't say, I am sorry, they don't apologize, they don't say anything. It's just they take the idea... And that's it. And if they get called out on it, they might do something or tweak, but nobody still says anything. We're sick of y'all. We're tired of it. Mother Earth, Father God, they're coming together. and we we about to wipe the slate clean. We about to get our flowers and be lifted up. So y'all just hang in there and stay, stay grounded. Spirit team told me that, yeah, they want your idea. This is the reason why they was messing with my um, phone and the documents in my phone. Mm -hmm. They erased they erased quite a bit on one, one copy of my book. I had two copies on my phone, two separate copies. And one, they, they took over 5,000 words off. I'm tired of people messing with me. And then when I start cussing and fussing and hollering, oh, then I'm looked at as the wrong person. That's how it is with black women anyway. You keep poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear. When after a while, what do you think that bear is going to do? It's going to come out the cave. Rah! That's black women. People always putting us down, talking about us, putting us down, talking about us, stealing from us, appropriating us. Black women are the lowest at the barrel. Nobody wants a black woman. Y'all ugly. Y'all masculine. Y'all this. Y'all that. You take, 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 take. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what are your ideas? We, we, we. Everybody wants everything from us and put us down at the bottom. That is going to stop. When we say, okay, oh my God, stop. Oh, see, look, an angry black woman. Well, what do you expect? We're tired. We're tired. Y'all not going to steal my idea. If I have to get on the internet and read my whole damn book for free, just to make sure y'all don't take the ideas, I will do that. Because I know what is going on. Some 
body is tapping in other folks' timeline, y'all steal ideas from people, that Uber idea, that all, the, all these ideas where people, you know, you can um, order food sent to your house, I feel like somehow they got that idea from me because I had created a a business called Honeybee's Food and Errand Services where it was just a total errand service. I did all kinds of errands, you know, make your food, you know, it was so beautiful. And I had all this idea, put it into an envelope, sent it to myself years ago. And one day I said, I'm going to open it online just to see what happened because I don't think I'm going to have this business anymore. And lo and behold, y'all, some of it was gone. When I know I put all of that information, that whole um, business plan in that package, some of it was gone because somebody went to my timeline and took that part out. So I would have been so embarrassed if I'd have went to court and had to open that up and show them. They would have been like, "Where is it? This is your idea," and I'm glad I did that. I know. I know people look at me like I'm crazy. Timeline jumping. Nobody does that. Who who wants to do that? My husband even say, "Why would anybody want to bother you?" It's because you don't understand who I am spiritually, my love, and that's okay. That's okay. But y'all gonna leave me alone. And they did say that, you know, my spirit team was like, well, yeah, they do want to take your, um, your idea, especially one of the, um, people that I spoke to about it, they want to take, so I said, okay, what I'll do is I'll read some of it, and, um, then when, when, People hear about certain things, they'll know it came where it came from. But let me tell you something. I want to tell y'all something about a couple of movies that are out. Be careful who you talk to about your ideas. Because people will take your idea. You know, they have something. My son bought a, a, a little thing. It's, it finds your devices for you. It, it finds things for you. It's, it, it's a device, a little button you put it on your phone, or you put it in your wallet, or you put it in your purse, and then the 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 set the headset part, you leave it in your your room or somewhere in your house, and you push the button, and it pages, so you can find where your wallet is, you can find where your purse is, so you can find whatever it is you put that button on. I had that idea 15 years ago, and did you know that if you can access the Akashic records? That's where you get a lot of ideas from. Did you also know that Einstein was familiar with the Akashic Records? And he even said in many of his essays that um, that's where he, he, when he dreamed, he goes to sleep and he goes into a lucid dream, lucid dreaming and ask questions and go wherever you want to go in your lucid dream. You can find out stuff. We're all connected to the same Akashic Records. So what that means is if you can go to a Akashic Record and find and see uh, an idea for something, everybody else can. So you better hurry up and get that idea. There's nothing I can do. Nobody really stole the idea from me. Is They just got to it first. We all ha I have access to the same energy idea pool. We all do. So you just got to work fast. And get it out there before somebody else does. At the very least, write it down and try to copyright it. But um, this is this is what they're trying to do with me and my idea. And I want to talk to you about this movie that I I've seen. There are two movies that I want y'all to check out. One. Um, Okay, so it's okay. One is called Into the Night, and the other one is Glitch. Both of these movies were made in 2015. Oh, and also Fantastic Beasts. Oh, that's the one I want to talk about. Fantastic Beasts, the third one. It was The Secrets of Dumbledore. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Y'all, people are going to talk about me anyway. I don't care. 
I don't care. I'm just going to be me. I really feel that a couple of those characters in that movie is about me. I, I just It just seems so familiar, like, damn. Because the white girl in, in that movie um, with the blonde hair, finger waves, her name is Queenie. And she's psychic. She can read your thoughts. Queenie. Psychic. Y'all know my subscribers call me Queenie. And I've always been clairvoyant. Y'all know that. But then there's another character in that same movie. A black one, woman. She's a witch. I practice witchcraft at one point in my life. I still do practice magic when I want to. I don't consider myself a witch. I just consider myself a magical person. If I need to put spells down, I'll go and put spells down. I know how to do that. It just seems so familiar. And if you look at other movies, if you're a person that have ambitions and you've done great things and wonderful things and you can see that what you're trying to do is not going where you want to go and you're being pushed back, Go look at a movie and you'll see, well, damn, that was my idea. How did they find that out? My husband even said he felt like he was the one that that um, coined the term Whitey Cassells, which is AKA White Castle. I said, you sure? He said, I just have that feeling. I know not everybody is saying Whitey Cassells. I believe it. Sometimes you can say things and you know you coined it, but you can't prove it. Like, for example, when I say, tell me why, and then I say it. Tell me why, such and such. Now tell me why, I've always said that. Now tell me why, now everybody's saying, tell me why. Nobody was saying that before I did. I didn't hear anybody say it, but it could have been possible. I don't know. But that's what I feel. If you think about it, you might find some things that you think, well, dang, who's, who's following me? Who's looking at me? Who's watching me? Who's mimicking me? So I do feel like now the, the, the movie Into the Night. I'm going to tell you about Glitch first. I'm trying to remember what I wanted to say about Glitch. Glitch. Uh, oh, yeah, Glitch was a movie it was about it was in 2015 also it um people that were dead had passed away or coming back from the cemetery they were coming out crawling out the cemetery because it was a glitch in the universe it was a glitch in the system and they can only stay in that particular town because if they try to travel out of that town they'll just turn into dust because the glitch was in that town only that will happen Many people will already be off the earth by then. We were, or off this part of the dimension, we probably will, will ascend. Some people will not, won't be here. A lot of people won't be here. There, most of the people that would be here to view that are the ones that were not able to move on to a better place. You're going to stay right here in this 3D realm. There are some people that are going to move to other 3D realms that will be a little different, but maybe not, hardship won't be so bad. And then there are those of us who are going to move to the fourth dimension, and, and they're plant, preparing a, a place for us that where you can use your light body and your physical body, but you have to stop eating so much. You can't, you got to get away from solid foods. Not all solid foods, but a lot of heavy solid foods be more of like liquid base. And that's what I'm working on. Um, so Glitch was all about these people that passed away that came back to life. I didn't watch the, all the story. And I didn't watch all of any of the, the movies that I told you about. I'm going to. I just was so anxious. I wanted to tell you about it before I finished. So I'm going to go back and watch those movies. Watch them and tell me what you think about them. Now the movie Into the Night has so, I'm having a hot flash. Hold on. Now the movie Into the Night um, is about, I believe there's a lot of truth in that movie and there's, there's a little bit of falsehood too, but I'm gonna I'm give you a spoiler alert. 
Sorry, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta snitch on them. Okay. Now, the movie Into the Night was about the sun. I always had the intuition that the sun one day, uh, back in 2000, I'm going to say back in 2011, 2012, I had a vision. I saw people dying because of the sun. And I've always heard that years and years ago, that the sun, be, certain people can't take the sun. But years to come, the sun you know, the sun is like a computer is what spirit is telling me. It's, it's, it's a type of technology. The sun is a technology. Did you know that? The sun is a type of technology, but we don't know that. We, we weren't taught that. They don't want us to know that. Oh, we waking up. And I'm revealing some secrets right now. But it is. And at a certain time, it is um, programmed to turn up the gamma rays or whatever it is. And they, they were saying that can't remember what they call it why why they felt that it was happening but these the sun started attacking people and I saw this in the vision I saw people getting big whelps and sores just coming up I, I was I was in a trance and I felt a pinch I felt like I was a victim so I can really so spirit put me in that spot so that I can really understand what was going on. So I felt like somebody was pinching. I'm like, oh, what is that? What is that? You know, and then I saw the vision and people were like, what's pinching me? What's pinching me? And then when they lift up their blouses and, and clothes to see what it was, they saw big boils, blisters, bloody blisters was popping up on people's arms and their face and their back and everywhere. The sun was tearing them up. I saw this in a vision. I said, wow, is that going to really happen? And in 2015, a movie was created called Into the Night. Whenever the sun comes up, that's when people start dying. In this movie, they said that everybody was dying from the sun. People were dying from the sun in real life in another dimension. And it might happen in this one. I think it might. Um but not everybody not everybody some people were spared and those people have more melanin in their body listen to what i'm saying the more melanin in your skin the least likely you will pass or perish from this um this vicious attack from the sun so to speak and i think that people who have melanin in their skin be patient and continue to ignore the advances of ignorant people who want to start a race war. They want to start a race war so bad because they know the future. They know what's going to happen. They understand who you are, what you are, all of us. They know. And they don't want to see that. They don't want to lose their clout. They don't want to lose their wealth they don't want to lose their power that's why they don't certain people don't like people with melanin melanin is magic melanin is protection the melanin in your skin protects you from the sun rays we're light beings melanin people we're light beings okay so it's not going to hurt people who have melanin, especially deep melanin. The sun is not going to kill people in Africa when that sun comes out. The melanin is too deep. That's why they did in the in in the story, in in the movie, they that's part they didn't they left out. They said everybody's dying. No. No. It's just people with really pale skin and people who bleach their skin. People who bleach their skin, they're really going to get it. You extracted the melanin. You extracted the blessings from your body. I personally feel that's a sin. I can't explain how I feel that's a sin. Just like I feel um, anal penetration is a sin. It's unnatural. 
taking the skin, the melanin out of your skin that God gave you, you your blessing, and you're taking it away. I don't want it. You're throwing it in God's face. I don't want your blessing. That's what you're saying. How dare you? Y'all going to get it. They're saying in this movie that people were dying even when they were in their houses when the sun comes up. I feel in real life that's not going to happen if you're in your house and you close all the, you, you get everything dark. Get everything dark in your home. And you might feel it a little bit, but you should be okay. So that part I didn't agree with. But go watch that movie, Into the Night. So what they had to do, they had to get on an airplane and travel to the other side of the equator, just keep moving, trying to avoid the sun. And that reminded me of how a certain group of people had to be drove into the Caucasus Mountains and there was no light, there was no fire. They just lost... Um, it just became savage again. And I don't know if this is going to happen um, as a result of them trying to move away from the sun and stay someplace dark. Because I'm not sure if fire would do the same thing. I don't know. But it is interesting to think about. So I just want to let y'all know that. Go watch that movie. Go watch the movie Glitch. And watch the movie... Um, Fantastic Beasts 3, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I love movies like that. And the book that I'm writing is very familiar to a movie like that. You know, it's kind of like that, kind of sort of, you know, little stuff like that. But um, I just wanted to let y'all know that um, they tell the truth in these movies. They mix a little bit with falsehood. They have to in order for them to do things to humanity, to to um, cast spells on humanity, they have to have your permission. So they do it in an indirect way. It's kind of slick. Poor ethics, poor work ethics, but hey, demons don't have good work ethics. Soulless people don't have good work ethics. And I'm letting you know now, if you're one of the people that have um, very little melanin in your skin, you got to get right. You got to get right. I mean, you you already waited too long. Y'all waited too long. Even the very nice people, oh, I'm not down with racism, um, power to people, uh, for everybody. All, you could say that Black Lives Matter. You could say all of that. It doesn't mean anything. Talk is cheap. What are you going to do? We've been doing and doing and doing and doing. Nobody's listening. Now it's up to y'all. You got to get your people right. You got to tell them, okay, keep your feet off of people's necks. Don't bust in somebody's house and shoot them dead while they're asleep. How dare you? And then you want to say, we're the savages? There's a man on TYT. Was it um, Young Turks a news channel? He got really passionate about um, white America calling black people savages and, and say you call a black man a savage after he's dead and he didn't do anything wrong and the only savage this is the one thing i disagreed with him he said the only savages are the savages well he's the savages um the only savages are the ones your ancestors i agree with that because that is savage behavior but what he said that i disagreed with was they were um uh, right, right ringers, Republicans. And I said, well, you know, you lost me. He had me up until the whole point. Y'all, y'all know the video I'm talking about young Turk. With the, um, I don't know. I don't know what his nationality is, what his race is. Uh, his, his nationality is American, but I don't know what his race is. Has dark hair. And there's another lady in there, white lady. They're, they're very nice, but yes, they are left wingers. They're Democrats. Um, I disagree with him saying that it was Republicans that uh, enslaved black people. How can you make such a big ass blanket statement when racism was so broad? Nobody's going to say, nope, I'm a Democrat, so I'm not racist. I don't own uh, slaves. Abraham Lincoln was Democrat. He owned slaves. Everybody 
all white people back then, Republican, Democrat, Socialist, <laughs> Independent, if there was one an independent party back then, they all had slaves. They were all savages. And if you look at that video, you will see my comment. I agree with everything you said. You have a point. But both left ringers and white right ringers, did I say that right? <laughs> Wingers and Republicans and Democrats, they were all racist. They were all slave owners. They were all overseers. All of them did this ugly, heinous crime to black people. Okay, so let's be clear on that. So don't be picking and choosing and trying to make one side look better. Y'all need to stop doing that. I don't like that about journalists. Stop bickering back and forth. Who's better? Who brought the news to you first? And they did this and we're more conservative. I'm sick of all of that. Who cares? Who cares? The children of the day, they don't care. Teach them something that's going to matter. Y'all letting them look at y'all bickering and stuff. That's why I can't stand when um, lecture time comes around because I hate all those backstabbing commercials. That's all you talk about is what this politician can't do. This politician wants to raise your taxes. Don't do that. Don't vote for them. They want to raise your taxes. What I plan to do is, and then you don't even explain how you plan to do what you say you plan to do. And you don't explain why I shouldn't vote for this person because they're raising their taxes. Raising my taxes, how? For what? Sometimes you need to raise taxes for a certain thing. So what is it? You don't explain. You just say they're raising taxes or you're going to lose this because he's going to vote for that. How do you know? Tell me. Tell us how that's going to happen instead of saying it's going to happen. I don't trust you. We don't trust you as politicians. We don't. We don't. I don't trust none of them. To a limit. Okay? And the main thing I want to hear about now is getting those babies, getting all of the children and the people who are um, tr being trafficked. And there are some people that are being held as slaves. Men my daughter found this out, that there's, there was this guy, he escaped. He, he wanted a job, to, a, a fishing job. You know how they get on those boats and they go get fish for tuna and crab and stuff? He said he was on a boat, but they treated him like a slave. He was there for six years. They didn't pay him. They beat them. All of that stuff has got to stop. And the person that... Um, got people's piqued people's interest about instances like this is donald trump because he wanted to find out where are the children at we sitting around here healthy people living our lives knowing that kids go missing every single day and groups of children ask miss hillary what happened to all those kids in haiti when there was conveniently a tsunami. Y'all know they can play. Y'all they playing with the weather. Y'all know they playing with the weather. Remember all them tsunamis we had. The spirit already told me a tsunami that was man-made. They created a CERN machine because they're trying to play God. The CERN machine. Look that up. I don't have time to explain it. Okay. They playing with God. The cloning. That's playing with God. Changes people's sex, genitals. That's playing God. You know, changing changing your 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 skin color, bleaching it. That's changing it. Taking um um. I don't know what it melanin shots, not melatonin. That's the difference. People always say they take a melatonin and they even put that name on it, which is wrong. And they know that's wrong. Melatonin is something that helps you sleep. Melanin is what's in your skin, you know? Oh, Lord, child. Look, I don't know, but this was a very interesting topic today. I'm glad y'all stopped by to join me and uh, maybe we'll talk again sometime. Um, Please go and look at my video that I made about the book review because I, I kind of was in my feelings because I'm like why are they looking at all my other videos and y'all claim y'all want to read my book but 
that video has the lowest amount of views. That just let me know either one, y'all not really interested in my book and you just saying you are because you're not clicking on that video or you really are clicking on that video, but they, YouTube with their hateful asses is suppressing my videos and not letting that one get out because they don't want me to publish this book. But it's going to happen. Thank you so much for listening. I love you guys like a play cousin. Remember I used to say that? <laughs> Thank you, angels. Stay in the light.